good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. So, of course, I have seen a lot of the brothers in, I would say, uh, the 90s hip hop change various phases. Guys who start off really masculine, guys who started off, you know, really, even in sports. Like when LeBron came out, LeBron, you know, he was a monster, man. He was all man. Now, I be seeing LeBron, you know, Russell Westbrookman, like, like, mm, what is that, brother? What is that, brother, brother, brother? What is that, brother, brother? What is that? You know, you, you starting to see a little funny stuff, okay, in the game. Some funny stuff, you know, in the game that don't need to be there, okay? Now, also, here we have some of the legendary rappers doing it. Now, Snoop Dogg talked about him getting the offer to be in a dress, and this is what he said. Stewart. <laughs> Martin Stewart, the commentator. I want to know what you told, what you said no to. <laughs> What I said, uh, Every, I'm sure it's so much. They wanted me to play a woman in uh, some kind of TV show, and they wanted me to wear a dress. Oh. So I was like, nope. Uh, next rapper. <laughs> <laughs> some of the information that they shoot my kids, my grandkids ain't, ain't right. And some of the teaching and the information, it's just not within the guidelines of the way I want kids to learn and the way that they should be taught. What you mean, what, what are they learning? What are they getting it from? You watch the world, you looking out there, you seeing what I'm seeing. Mm. He said, hell no. There's no way he gonna participate in that BS, right? But now we see brother most deaf looking a little awkward, man. I hate to see this. I hate to see this, but you know, let me, let me kind of get to this. Corey Holcomb called this out about two weeks ago. He said this about most deaf, people got mad. Some folk got mad. But let's check out what Corey Holcomb said. We're gonna get back. I disagree with you on him. I think he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. My only issue with Dave Chappelle is what happened to Most Deaf when he started hanging out with Hanging out with Dave Chappelle turned Most Deaf into a bottom. When did <laughs> when did Most Deaf go from being a hip hop lyricist to a power bottom? I'm watching the interview this did last week. When he was talking about Drake's lyrics, have you seen this? Yeah. And it, it you saw uh, moistness, didn't you? It is somebody sucked all the manhood through it. What happened to the old most deaf? If Chappelle don't give me answers, then I gotta agree with Corey. Man. Hey, let me tell you something, man. If you see a movie campaign, they don't just give a movie campaign. Right. And most deaf had a movie campaign. Right. He was in a lot of movies and he did good in the movie. Yeah. But. The butt. Swallow. <laughs> Most deaf, he looked like, he act like a that do, do the butterfly for a living. Like he get money, like throw money at him for doing the butterfly. You man. stupid. What, what happened to Most deaf? Let's go back to this picture. Let's look at this picture. It looks like a skirt, but then look at it. It looks like it's like some boots. What kind of boots? Like who would wear some exaggerated boots, dragon boots? Like who in the f would wear something. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I don't think there's anything manly about extra large, unless your feet are just hella swollen. It looks very, it looks not like where you started. Looks like something's going on in his life. But Cat Williams has also talked about this in terms of Diddy. Let's check it out. My goal was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole. <laughs> and I never had sucked a pink. That was my only goal. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dave Chappelle walked away from 50 million. You said it was more. Yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't. People say that. He lost 50 million dollars. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. No, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I just say I'm so freely. So let me just say this. I don't have any problem with people in their personal preferences or really how they want to address or pursue themselves. I do want to position this is this a part of a larger agenda like i'm not sure and i can't prove this do we see this in any other genre of music um country music why is it always 
black men that are always left to look like this why is it always that i i, I mean i just want to know you know when it comes to white guys they can always remain masculine they can always remain in control they can always remain you know being but, but the black man you know he starts off trying to represent himself you, you're, you're seeing more of these guys wearing stuff like this and then i'm gonna tell you who complains about it a lot and this is not to get nobody mad at me but i'm gonna tell you who complains about it a lot the same person who's going to say that you black men ain't ish a lot of sisters they look at this and it'd be funny and i'm not blaming them at all because i'm gonna make a point black women see black men dressing like this as much as they may have friends who are in the community when it comes to them seeing this and brothers dressing like this we we know what they say online about brothers that dress like this. we, we got to be honest about it and i feel like if you're a black man and you wear this whereas they probably don't want to say anything about it we know what's being talked about in these comments largely these black men are not getting any level of respect from sisters in heterosexual communities if they express themselves like in this way then all of the bad stereotypes come in see we knew y'all was like that we need real men now see this is what i'm talking about and i'm not i'm not so sure that this is not done to to, to make the ladies not to respect the brothers even more oh you see what them black men got on you see how they dressed oh no boo we can't respect that just look at them see we told y'all they was gay that's the first thing they're gonna go to is when you brothers out there and y'all gotta understand the play when you brothers out there um and i'm not saying that it's not okay for you just how you want to do this is the argument they're gonna use if most deaf even if he's just expressing himself all right if he's going to get a girlfriend which he probably has not saying that he's guaranteed but i know what they're going to say girl better watch your back girl girl he wanted him now as soon as they're saying that who you think they're going to go get their hair done from hmm do you know what i'm talking about exactly one of them right they'll be right there in the choir stand their choir director is one of them as they would say it one of them they're not gonna have no problem with that so the black man i feel like this is another way of trying to say hey you know what guys it's okay for you to <laughs> you to do this this is okay this is cool you know and you know a, a lot of the brothers is not getting no respect anyway man and i i i just think that you know in my honest opinion this style of expressing yourself it leads to more criticism in the black community because you can say all you want we need to respect people we need to understand things respect people's expression we know that's not gonna happen man we gotta be honest about it that's not what happens it isn't brothers who would express themselves like this in black america unless you're very famous even if you're heterosexual or not the people are going to come after you we just got to tell it they're going to come after you they're going to call you names you know you're going to be judged so and I, I and i don't know if that's to make everybody else feel okay but you know a lot of people in our in our community not going to respect that especially the way he started now if he would have started like this that would be different but now folks is going to start looking at conspiracy theories then when the brother wants to have uh, something to say on important issues they're gonna go back to this photo well why is he talking about it don't he do x y and z you know they're gonna say that you just know it so guys what do you think it's your boy shady jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you discovered the bell we're out